and look at the packaging. This just looks bougie. This looks like something you could find in Rihanna's house. You can't tell me that this doesn't look good. Look at the lip. We love that. Hold it, got the dump in, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You want a deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brunet. If you don't know, now you know when we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So make sure that you go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me. And make sure that you follow me on my social medias because I do post there outside of YouTube. So today's video, we're looking very homey, very chill, laid back. Um, and that's basically going to be the vibe for today's video. I'm going to be doing a quick hair and makeup transformation and everything's going to be in a more like natural state, you know. I'm first going to be starting off with my hair. As you can see, like I just said, I got straight back say y'all. So I am about to see what the hair is going to give if I do like a quick braid out. Just as I recall that your ass is still amazing Playing, baby Saying, baby Love it, just know I'm crazy So go ahead and drink up I'm so glad we got to link up Oh my god, really quickly Let me tell you guys a story time, okay? So I know you guys probably saw the video posted before this Where I was giving myself some locks, right? So, during the process of me taking down those locks, I accidentally cut my hair. And I'm not talking about, like, I cut a little bit. I cut an entire braid off. So, let me try to show you guys. Look. Can you see? I cut my hair completely off. Some of it is in this braid as well, this comb row. But look. It's so short and it sticks out it looks crazy thank god it's in the back of my head so I can you know cover it with the other hair but yeah I cut my hair right off so thankfully I'm going on this hair journey this hair growth journey and basically I have a little patch where I can like really document how much my hair has grown but I can't believe I did that. I wanted to cry so bad, you guys. But it's just hair, and I know it will go back, especially especially if I keep um, treating my hair how I'm doing right now. So let me tell you guys, I put in um, some different leave-in like conditioning creams before I braided my hair. And my hair has never felt more moisturized than it does now. And I've also been oiling and massaging my scalp to stimulate more hair growth. So... My hair is super shiny and soft and, like I said, moisturized and well-conditioned right now. And it feels so good. Like, y'all see the sheen? Um, and I'm going to try to steer away from using gels because, like I said, I think they dry my hair out. Um, so, I didn't put any gel in my hair. And my hair still has some really good, like, curl definition right now. So, I am pretty excited. I'm literally just going to do this. All the time. Okay, you guys, so I just got done doing my hair, and I'm super excited. Like, I really don't know where to start. Um, I guess I'm going to start off with skin. So I'm starting off with my Palmer's um, Skin Therapy Oil. This stuff is amazing. First off, I love the way it smells. So, like, if a product smells really good, 9 times out of 10, I'm going to want to use it. My skin has been doing amazing, okay? I'm going to follow that up with some Fenty Beauty, the hydrating primer. She's really dirty. I need to go ahead and clean off all my makeup. Um, every time I clean my brushes, I usually clean my makeup. 
because it gets so dirty so fast. But I think I forgot the last time I did it. I wish I had something for my lips. I need a little crusty. Mm. <laughs> so um, now that that's done, y'all know I usually always use the NYX Micro Pencil and Espresso. Today, hopefully I only have to use it for the spoolie because... I am going to be trying out a new product, um, but I'm just brushing them out using the spoolie. But I'm not going to go in with this actual product today. First things first, I'm going to get into my Merit box that I received in the mail yesterday. I'm super duper excited to be unboxing this with you guys today. Less is more. It sure is. Look how minimalistic this packaging is. It's so cute. And this is the bag. That the makeup comes in. So today's video is sponsored by Merit. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and for sponsoring today's video. I'll probably be using this to keep back my skincare or makeup. And as I travel, um, this is super duper cute. And I love how all the packaging is reusable and recycle, recycle, recyclable, recyclable. Yeah. Please, please. <laughs> just to get it together but yeah Mary allowed me to pick out a couple of items so and when I say couple literally seven items so we left for that Mary can be found in Sephora they also have an online shop of course you can also check my description box for all of the information and I'm sure I will also have a code for you guys so I will put it on the screen make sure you use that when you shop to get money off support the girl it is an affiliated code so you know help me get the coin but yeah you guys I love how beautiful and simple this packaging is and I hope that the actual product meets our standards you know because I just don't put anything on my face okay oh this looks so like chic and pretty it makes me feel like I spent a lot of money so this is the brow pomade okay <laughs> the brush is nice and small so that's really good it will help me not put too much product because I don't want my brows to be super duper dark so let's try this out i have nothing on my brows right now so let's see what type of look this will give me i'm gonna try to use really really light strokes because honestly i don't always need to fill my brows in most of the time i just use a little bit of product a little gel and i'm good to go and i'm gonna use the front of the brush to kind of only put the product in this sparse area that I have right here. I definitely see a difference and I actually think I really like this product. Now I need to go back and like shape it. And I'm going to top it with some brow gel. But I like this. So before I go in with any brow gel. Um... I'm just going to clean them up because I think I like the way that they look by themselves. So lately to clean up my brows, I have been using the Kiss Concealer to, you know, just go under my brows. I don't use anything on top of them. But today I'm going to try out the Merit's Perfect Complexion Stick. Okay, so this is basically, I believe it can be used as... Okay, wait, it says it's not a foundation or concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it. So you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup. I love that. I love to hear it. So this is the packaging. It's super sleek and cute. Everything is just so pretty to me. I'm 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 a minimalist, you know, so I don't like packaging that's too over the top. I love how they have a cute little symbol on the top of the top of itself. And then here is the true complexion stick. And then you can use the bottom to raise it and bring it back down. So we love that. I'm going to give a cute little swatch. And I'll I'll tell you guys what color it is. I picked up two different ones. So one is amber and one is sepia. And I'll tell you which one this one is on the screen. Um, Y'all know how it is picking out colors online. It's kind of hard to get your actual shade. But I think this is very close to my skin tone. So, um, like I said, I don't like my brows to be super bold. So, I'm going to try to use this today to clean up my brows. I'm going to take my angle brush and I'm going to go directly on the stick. And we're going to see how this works. So, so far, it is very creamy. Can you guys even see that I'm adding it? Because it's very close to my skin tone. 
um but it looks so natural so i like that i like how it's definitely cleaning up my brows like it's it's covering those little itty bitty hairs that are going back after i um after i cleaned up my brows but the product in itself is so smooth I'm going to do something a little different today because I want to see how good this cleans things up. So I am going to put a little around the top, around my, um, I am going to put a little at the top around my tail. Okay, I'm sorry if I had like the evil face while applying that. I had to make sure I was getting the brows together. But so far, I really like that product. I know it's going to be flawless on my skin it doesn't look like i have much on but it's erasing the things that i wanted to erase but it still looks like skin like literally just like they said it's not a foundation it's not concealer it's both but it still allows you to see your actual skin and you know them little blemishes that we should encourage instead of always trying to hide i like it now i am obsessed with keeping my brow hairs in place because i don't like when they looking all crazy so i'm gonna spray the bottom of my spoolie with a little bit of gatsby spray be careful with this because it will make your hairs flake if you like brush up against your hair throughout the day so now it's time for the base i'm gonna be trying to mix the perfect complexion shades oh a lot this is sepia this is amber so i used amber under my um brows they look very very similar um so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to focus amber in the inside of my face can you guys even see it it's a it's a good match wow it's a really good match i'm gonna focus this in like the inner parts of my face like that right and then I'm gonna take sepia. Oh wow. Okay, wait. We're gonna we gonna have to blend this out first because <laughs> sepia is darker than I than I thought. So hold on. Okay, sepia is gonna be my perfect contour shade. Um honestly, amber isn't that wait is amber wait 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 because hold on right now this is blending into my skin perfectly i knew that it blended in good under my eyebrows but for some reason i thought it was going to be a brighter color under my eyebrows and i wanted a darker color on my face but do you see how good that just blended into my skin even the dark color the darker color blended right into my skin. Is this magic? You see how it's not a perfect color match? This is a it has yellow undertones, right? Am I am I tripping? But when you blend it out, I'm not sure if it oxidizes or what. It blends right into my skin. And I can still see my skin, but it makes me look a little bit more flawless. Am I tripping right now? Okay, wait. Let me put a little bit more. Because I didn't put any in this area, really. You see what I'm, you see what I mean? It looks too light, right? And I'm also using the e.l.f. Powder Blurring Brush as my foundation brush. You see it? And I don't? Or am I bugging? Okay. That blended really well. I'm going to contour now with sepia because the lighter color is amber. I'm going to put a little down my nose. cheeks and 
So now I'm getting a little line from the scarf. And I'm gonna put a little on my forehead. This is the e.l.f. Airbrush Blender. And I'm gonna use this. Okay, so basically, these products blend like butter and they feel really good on your skin because when I touch my skin, it feels like I really don't have much on. I'm going to have to redo my edges as always because I like to really put the powder, I mean, I really like to put the products that I use on my forehead like into my hairline. So it has a seamless blend, but these products melt like butter. They are skin friendly, I will say, because like the packaging says, it allows you to still see your skin, you know? So if you like a natural bleat, I said bleat, if you like a natural beat, this is for you. If you're a beginner, this makeup is beginner friendly because it doesn't take much blending. I literally would usually have to blend the freak out of my face. To make it look this seamless. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna go get a little bit more products because um I need a con I need a concealer that's going to brighten my face because I like a little brightness under the eyes. I need a powder to set that, and I also need a contour powder because this is cream. But I like how sepia isn't doing too much because I don't like a harsh bronzer. I like a light, you know, not doing too much bronzer for my contour, um, but I do need to set it so it doesn't move. But if I wasn't as tan, this would be my perfect contour color, but since I am, I probably should have went a shade darker, um, but I love this. I'll be back with more products. Concealer. This is the Full Cover Concealer Pro Touch. Isn't this by Kiss? Yeah, Kiss New York, and I'm using shade Warm Honey, um, just a little under my eyes, not too much. And I'm going to use a beauty blender and I'm going to spray that first with some Morphe Sutton Mist. It's not a spray, honey, it's a mist. And we're going to get that a little, a little moist. I already ran it under water, but I like to do this right before I go in with the product. You know? Um, and I think I'm also going to spray this product onto my forehead and down the bridge of my nose just because I can tell I put a little bit too much so I'm gonna spray that out I think it's also good that I'm doing this because Often when I am using new makeup lines, I like to see how well they blend with other makeup products. And, you know, sometimes the the concealer and the foundation and the contour that you buy from one line is not like another, another makeup line, you know? Like, it literally just won't blend well, but I'm not experiencing that right now at all. Um, this is a really bright color for me right now because it's the summertime and I am tan, like I said. Um, I have the Kiss... Concealer and Warm Honey and Toffee. And Toffee is closer to my skin tone, but I wanted to see how the brighter color blends with Merit's products. And so far, so freaking good. So freaking good. That was literally exactly what I needed. And there are no harsh lines. Oh, wow. Right now, I'm going to set with my Fenty Beauty powder, and this is in the color Cashew. It's the Pro Filter. Oh, I put a lot on this side. You see how smooth I look? For someone who's really not trying at all. But yeah, you can tell that these products really like each other, and they're very smooth. They make your skin very smooth because I haven't set my face yet, and usually my face looks a little like ashy. And she don't be looking that cute until I set her with the spray, but it already looks super good. So now I'm going to set the cream that I put on my contour with the the cream that I use 
the cream that I use for my contour with the True Complexions Contour Palette. And I used to always mix sculpt and contour, but today I'm only going to use contour because, like I share, honey, I'm a little tan. I'm still tan from Cancun, okay? I'm just going to lightly set that, bring more color into my face. Still with the excess, I'm going to go down the sides of my nose. And I've been curving it around my little bubble nose, as my grandma used to call it. And I like to also lightly go over my eyes, just with the rest of the product, because it gives her a little color, and it, it, it brings her into the rest of the face, if that makes sense. So I just focus it on, like, the eyelid. I like it. Y'all can't tell me I look really, really good. Ah, my teeth look really, really nice, too. Don't play with her. I plan on whitening my teeth later, but you guys, I like the way this looks. Like, disregard the hair, because it's, look, it's looking a little crazy, but this base, baby, I'm really trying to get really close. And disregard this little pimple, I'm about to come on my cycle, but I'm trying to get really close to the camera because this looks really freaking good. Like, it's the base for me. Everything looks so smooth. I'm not recording on a camera. This is just my phone. Like, stop playing with her. I think I have a little bit of creasing under here, maybe. But, like, not really. <sighs> maybe it's just because my skin is doing good. I don't I don't know what to tell you guys. I like it so far, okay? I'm obsessed, okay? Now I'm going to go into the blush. I got their Mood Blush. It's a flush balm. And I'm not going to lie, this is not the color that I wanted. Um, I've never picked up a dark colored blush from anyone. I like the pinks and the oranges. Um, but we're going to give her a go today because I'm trying new things. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely would like a little bit more color in the center of my face. So this is what she looks like. She's a plum a dark plum color but she honestly isn't that isn't that dark i'm gonna do something that i never done before and i'm gonna use the butt of my sponge to apply this because i feel like it's it's creamy it is i'm gonna swatch it for y'all oh i think that actually would really be pretty i actually think should i apply it with my i'm gonna apply a little bit right here with my finger and we're gonna see how buildable this product is and i'm gonna blend it out with the butt because i'm scared to just go ahead and you know it may be too much so i'm gonna go ahead and add something like that and then blend it in this feels so smooth oh that's pretty oh wait Oh, wow. I'm not going to cap. I wanted another color, but they were all sold out. Maybe this is why they were all sold out, child. I got so much contour up here. But, you know, the powder. But, okay. I think I want to blend it out a little bit more, though. Because, you know, I used the, the, the beauty blender, so... I'm going to go ahead and open up the Merit brush number one. They have brushes as well, you guys. This is what she looks like. Sorry if y'all hear any noise in the background. My house is always jumping. Oh, this brush is so soft. And it's dense. I'm going to see how it does with just blending out. But I was trying to blend out with the other brush because... Some things was looking a little too harsh. That looks good. Okay, I like how soft this brush is. This is as soft as a baby's bottom. You see how, like, this is a little too dark right here. It's not It's not well blended. I'm going to use this number one brush just to get rid of, like, those harsh lines. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like this brush as well. It looks a little bit more flawless now. I think, yes, ma'am. And this is, like, super good for traveling. You know, I wish you could like twist it up and cover the, the brush and then push it out. I do wish that's how it worked, but I still love it. Okay, so now we're going to get into my lashes because 
when you put, when your lashes are done or when you have lash extensions or you put on some strips, you automatically look more awake. So today I'm going to be trying out the Merit Clean Lash. And I believe this is in the color Perfect Black. And look at the packaging. This just looks bougie. This looks like something you could find in Rihanna's house. You know, like it just looks bougie. Okay, bougie on a budget. We love that. So um, before I coat my lashes with this, I am going to take this curler, this lash curler. And curl the little itty bitty lashes that I do have, honey. Because we do got some. Girl, I don't know. I barely have any lashes. <laughs> Mascara brushes are very important to me. If the brush is too big, I don't like it because I have very any weeny incy bincy lashes. Um, but I like this brush size. I like that it's long. I like that the color comes perfect black. Y'all know I got dark hair features. They don't have a smell. That's one thing I didn't do. I didn't smell the products. I'm about to go back and do that. Because <laughs> like I said earlier, I like when things smell good. And I also like when things that go on my face really don't have a smell in the first place. Because I have sensitive skin. I like this mascara. Okay, let me get real close so y'all can see. But I know y'all see a difference in between my eyes. I know y'all do. I like this mascara. The reasons why I don't like a lot of mascaras is because when they make their lashes appear to be more thicker, they usually clump them. And this does not clump them. So I like that. It just makes them long. I know y'all see a difference. This is probably one of the best mascaras I've used in a really long time and I'm not capping. If you get anything from this line so far from what I've shown y'all, get the brow pomade because I do like how it filled in my brows the perfect amount. Get the true complexion, I mean get the perfect complexion sticks and get this mascara. But I also really like the blush. And also really like that brush. Girl, get, in, get everything. I'm, get, get everything and just make sure you use my code so you can save some coin because what I actually really like this yep I love it I love this mascara and the brush is a perfect size because you know a lot of times when you put mascara on it sometimes gets on the top of your eyelid I hate that and I didn't experience that with this mascara at all I love it I love it, I love it, I love it. So last but not least, we gotta get into this lip. So let me take a little bit of my moisturizer off. Oh, and I wanna put you guys on to a lip product as well. It isn't from Merit, but it is the Ruby Kisses Style Pencil Liner in the color Dark Brown. First off, I love how lip pencils come with a sharpener because I always misplace my sharpener. And speaking of it, it needs to be shopping right now. So it's just so convenient, you know? So I really like this lip pencil because it's smooth. And I'm going to overline my lips. When I say overline, I mean bring the product into your actual lip. I don't mean go over your lip because I already have nice full lips. Okay, now that we have that done, I want to see how this looks on my lips by itself you know just with the lip liner so i got the shade stick okay this is a tinted lip oil from merit and they have a lot of shades i got taupe um and it's such a it reminds me from the packaging it reminds me of the fenty gloss bomb you know similar color i have my gloss bomb right here um very similar color so i already know that i'm going to like the color on my lips but the packaging is very similar to me um and it's so small, like all of their products are good for on the go, good for being in your purse. So yeah, this is the Tinted Lip Oil. This is what it looks like. It's nice and sheer. They have a lot of different colors. Um, and they are currently, they are currently promoting their new line of colors. So a lot of people must like this lip oil because all the other colors were sold out, okay? So let's see what this looks like topped with my lip liner. Very moisturizing, doesn't have that much of a smell. Oh, this just feels good on your lips. 
it felt like I put chapstick on. Okay, so they definitely are prioritizing moisturization with this product. It's not a gloss. It's a lip, it's a tinted lip oil. Um, so it's not made to be a gloss. It's not, that's not its purpose. But it has a really nice color and a really nice feel in your lips. And it feels super duper moisturizing. So we love that. I'm going to top it with this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie because I want a little bit more brightness in the center of the lip. Oh, this is cute. Let me find out this is my new go-to lip combo. Before you blend out your lip gloss completely, you got to add a little bit more liner. Because once you hit the gloss, the liner is going to smear right off. And the butter gloss isn't super glossy either, so I'm going to top it with some clear lip gel. This is the Broadway Mango Butter Lip Gloss. Hydrates and softens the skin. So I'm going to add a little bit of that just to the center of my lip. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I'm going to finally set my face. Um, I never did that. And, okay, my mascara is dry, so we don't have to worry about her smearing. So let's spray her. It feels so good to do that. And this is the final look, you guys. This is pretty. Like, you can't tell me. That this doesn't look good. Look at the lip. Look at the lip combo. Stop playing with her. I love my face, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go put some clothes on, put some jewelry on, and, you know, put that, pull everything together so you guys can see the final result. Um, ah, I'm excited because I look good, okay? And I don't even got nowhere to go. Ugh, anyways, be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. Just put on a little bit of jewelry, you know what I'm saying. Um, nose ring, if you care, it's from the beauty supply. The earrings are from Anna Louise. This was a gift from my boo baby. I have no idea where this um, watch is from. It's very old, but I love how small and sleek it is. And this J um, bracelet came from a gift from my best friend. And the necklace is also Anna Luisa. So, yeah. Final result with the makeup. I think getting ready. Nothing has moved. Everything is nice and set. My face feels super duper like light weight. We love that. We freaking love that. Okay. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment down below what kind of videos you want me to do next. Especially if they're makeup tutorials. We love a cute, chill, chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, if you do plan on shopping with Merit, please tell them that Tara sent you. Make sure you use my code for money off when you shop with them. So, you can save yourself a coin. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the donkey, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.